So one of the questions I get asked the most is what video editing software do I use to create these videos? That is Adobe Premiere. Now, I don't wanna get into why I use Premiere over other NLEs because that could be a whole video in itself, but I will say that Premiere is a very finicky software and requires specific hardware for it to run very smoothly. Trying to find that right hardware combination, well, it could be a very daunting task. Here's the thing, just imagine all of the different processors, all of the different GPUs available today, building your own computer and having software run with millions of different types of combinations. That is the biggest problem with Premiere. Unlike Final Cut where it runs on a Mac and Apple really just has to worry about certain computers like an iMac, MacBook Pros, it's not really that difficult to optimize software when there's only certain hardware combinations. But I think I found one that works really well for Premiere if you're looking for a portable mobile workstation. And this is the HP ZBook, which I've been running several months. And it runs Premiere flawlessly. And I'm gonna tell you what hardware combinations I pick because you can configure this computer any which way you want. So let's start off with the processor. Now I went with a Core i7 mainly because my PC runs a Core i7 and I wanted to be able to still do day-to-day -day tasks. You can pick a Xeon processor and most people might even recommend to go that route. But just given the fact that I've had really great success with a Core i7, I decided to stick with a Core i7 and so far I've not regretted it. Also, this is running 2.6 gigahertz and it can turbo boost up to 3.5. So I can run a little bit higher clock speeds and this is good for day-to-day -day stuff and even if I want to start using it for gaming later down the road. This is running 16 gigs of RAM. This is ECC memory at 2133 megahertz speeds. In terms of GPU, I did go with a workstation GPU which is a Quadro M1000. This has 512 gigabytes of internal storage and it uses PCIe SSD. So you're gonna get some pretty crazy reads and write speeds. Now in terms of display, this is a 15.6 inch display. Now you have an option to go with a 1080p panel or you can go with a UHD, which is the one I got. So this is 3840 by 2160 because I do a lot of 4K video editing. So you're pretty much getting a 4K display. Now this particular panel has an anti-glare which means that you're not gonna see any reflections or anything like that, and it's really great for editing. Now, the particular form factor of this laptop resembles a lot of the older generation MacBook Pro. Reason being is it's very thin, 0.71 inches thin. The overall weight is 4.4 pounds, which is the exact same weight as the older generation MacBook. I think the new one weighs 4.1 or four pounds exact, which is not really that much of a difference. But here's the kicker. You get a ton of ports. So you get three USB 3.0 ports. You get a full ethernet. And this also has an SD card reader too. And then you get a full size HDMI port and also two USB type C ports. So the two type C connectors on here are Thunderbolt, which means you can run two 4K monitors at 30 bit color depth at 60 Hertz which is freaking awesome. This also comes with stereo speakers made by Bang & Olufsen, and don't worry if you don't have any headphones because these sound really good. And you also get a fingerprint reader up front, so you're not really missing out on a lot of the features that the MacBook Pro has. So why do I like this laptop? Well, there's a couple of reasons. For one, it runs Premiere like a champ. I'm able to run Premiere, edit full 4K video files without transcoding anything, and also have it at full playback. I just really like how everything runs so fast in Premiere. I'm able to color grade really quickly. Everything just runs so smooth. The fact that I can do this on a laptop is something that I probably never thought that I could do with Adobe Premiere. Like I said, just the different types of combinations that it takes to run the software really good. And just being able to do that on the go is something that I've been really wanting to find in a laptop. And on top of that, get nine hours of battery life. When I run it hard, I get about four, four and a half, but when I browse the web, just kind of chill and just, you know, do little minor things, I'm able to get nine hours of battery life. But here's a fun fact, NASA actually uses these exact same workstation computers up in their space station. So how cool is that? Now I'm gonna leave my configuration and the parts that I picked down below in the description if you guys are interested in picking this particular model up. So I'll leave everything down there for you guys to take a look at, especially because you can pick different combinations. And I know that maybe this combination works great for Premiere, but it not, may not work great for gaming. But the best part about it is all of these components can be taken out and you can later down the road upgrade should you wanna do that. 
Follow me on Snapchat if you guys want to watch behind the scenes. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.